Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thanks for coming. Um, I, it is my pleasure and distinct honor to be able to welcome all of you here today for the dedication of the official state historical marker commemorating one of our con Commonwealth's great conservation leaders. I would first like to thank the Pennsylvania Historical Museum Commission and my fellow members of the Ralph Abel Conservation Scholarship Fund Board of Directors for making this event possible. I would also like to recognize members of the board who I, I would ask to stand when I call your name. Ed Burns, Sidney Dunn, Frank Felbaum, Joe Green, Dennis Geis, Dave Hess, Wayne Cover, Gary Moore, and Ted Watt, and Emeritus member Steve Alsh. I want to particularly thank Ted Block and the other Fish and Boat Commission staff who coordinated today's event. I thank all of you for attending today's ceremony, especially the Abel family members who we will hear from later in the program, and the old guard, like former commissioners Sam Walleone and Walter Gibbs and Bob Martin, who are here today in attendance today. I'd also like to thank our six members of our Board of Commissioners for attending. Um, I guess we have a quorum in case we have to take any official action, too. <laughs> Ralph W. Abel was executive director of the Pennsylvania Fish Commission from 1972 through 1987. I was fortunate to begin my career as a semi-skilled laborer with the commission in 1980 under his leadership. Mr. Abel was, as most of us call him, because of reverence and rank, was a man of great vision and determination. He was an amazing leader, and influenced the careers of many, including myself. I have a framed personal note on my office wall that he sent me in April 1988. It was after he retired and I had just been promoted to be chief in the Environmental Services Division. His words were motivation for me then and continue to motivate me today. Quote, I'm delighted you're the chief. You have the background and the guts that are needed. He would often include personal messages on internal correspondence to many of us, such as, you're our hope for the future. He was an amazing man who accomplished amazing things. Dr. Maurice Goddard was recognized by our agency in 1992 for his lifetime of service to the conservation and the environment of Pennsylvania and our nation. As an acceptance speech to the Ralph Abel Conservation Heritage Award, he said that, quote, with Ralph's leadership, the Fish Commission was the environmental conscience for the environment in Pennsylvania. We all know that Mr. Abel heard those words since he told us at his retirement dinner that he would be hovering above the clouds and would swoop down whenever he was needed to give us a hand. He was an inspiration to many of us in many different but similar ways. Although he despised political interference in agency operations, he knew how to get the politics to work for us and not against us. He always seemed to be on the right side of the issues, whether it was Dock Street Dam and Small Hot Bass or Boaters, or Hell Run, where we, we fought back coal miners for brook trout. Well, most of you know that I can go on for hours with war stories of the past, but I want to leave you with one more story. Shortly after I was appointed executive director, I had the occasion to travel to New England and cross paths with Ralph Abel Jr. We had planned to kayak his home river, but the weather spoiled that adventure, but we did some catching up with the social hour at the conference we were attending. Ralph Jr. caught me completely by surprise when he presented me with his dad's gold waterways patrolman badge. I promised Ralph Jr. that I was carrying in my badge wallet right beside my Waterways Conservation Officer badge. My father once told me a story about why he had that metal jacketed Bible that he was issued in World War II. And I'm confident now that I have two badges in my left breast pocket, I'm virtually invincible. <laughs> now that I'm director of the same agency that Mr. Abel was so proud to serve, I am personally motivated to strive to meet the standards he set for us and I'm grateful to be able to join you today to memorialize his legacy. Thanks.